conceptualizing and, 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 and seeing you know, Bitcoin from that light, given my orientation towards tangible assets and, as a form of currency. And I agree with you. I mean, um, you're right when you say Bitcoin is not backed by anything tangible. You're completely right. The only thing that Bitcoin is backed by is demand, the amount of people who agree to use the same protocol. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, the, the one thing that you would appreciate, even without being a programmer, about why Bitcoin, the Bitcoin protocol is so beautiful, is the way that it creates artificial scarcity by, yeah. by limiting the amount of Bitcoins that can be produced. Yes, that's, understood. That's Just like thing. gold. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Just like but gold. see, gold is, the, the scarcity comes from the fact that it's dispersed in the Earth's crust in such a way that even though technology adva advances over the years, the gold is harder to find and harder to mine because it's becoming more and more. Uh, it's going into deeper locations, uh, or you know, we're, we're trying to extract gold at a smaller grade than you know the, the old timers did, you know, 40, 50, 60 years ago. So uh, there are a lot of similarities. But at the end of the day, Bitcoin is not a tangible asset, but it has tangible nature to it in the sense that um, uh, the programming itself has has some value. Um, but it, it's not like it's something you can put in your hand. The, the other point that you made though that is, is the similarity to gold is that uh, it's how people perceive it. Uh, and that gets back to Austrian economics that um, value is subjective. You know, the old saying goes, one man's treasure is another man's junk. Um, you know, some people might like a particular artist and other people might say, well, that artist is terrible. Uh, and you know, one guy might pay you know, a million dollars for a Picasso and another guy would say, I wouldn't pay a penny for a Picasso. Isn't that also true with currencies and that's the beauty for competing currencies? That is the beauty for competing currencies. But the thing about Bitcoin is that, uh, well, firstly, it's completely decentralized. I mean, with a, with a payment system backed by gold or backed by someone, you always have to trust the issuer. Yes. It's always good to be a central record, and that makes it vulnerable, but also less flexible than a decentralized system. Basically, to shut down Bitcoin, you need to shut down the internet. Mm -hmm. and, um, and also, you could say, I mean, um, the, way the, the way that Bitcoin was created by many by programmers was uh, based on thing, things like protocols, like HTML, like uh, programming languages, like email, and that is actually that is actually a fairly good backing because uh, because they can see they can see where they come from they can see how many programmers can see that but the average guy in the street like me cannot but the average guy in the street uh, doesn't need to know how things work he just needs to be able to use them easily there's a huge demand for online cash not a credit system not a payment system cash something that can be used just as easily as I can buy um, something with well, one euro or one dollar at a store. That does not exist right now, that demand is not being met and uh, Bitcoin is one of the leading solutions trying to meet that demand and if it succeeds it will be very difficult to, to beat. Yeah, I understand the the reasons for online cash and the need for online cash, and I'm in complete agreement with you there that we do need a product. Um, but ag again, I want to just come back to this point: uh, how how does how do you get people to accept Bitcoin as as a form of currency where they're going to put some wealth in uh, and uh, you know take the risks of owning Bit Bit Bitcoin? Well, I would advise anyone to own a great deal of Bitcoins right now because it's still in very early stages. It's still very speculative. It's very volatile. Um, in fact, I the think volatile that... Volatile meaning that its exchange, exchange rate exchange relative rate. to national currencies can go up and down. Exactly. Exactly. It can move a lot right now because it doesn't have enough critical mass. Right now, it's already very useful as a payment system. In fact, I think it combines extremely well with gold. People could save in gold, hold wealth in gold, but then when they have to move, they're not going to move the gold from one country to another. They can just send some bitcoins and buy the gold of the other country. It's so simple, it can already be done. Yeah, or in theory, just leave the gold in the vault uh, and use gold money to click their ownership of gold to someone else 
and the gold still stays there. Of course, uh, although, they can't you know, do that right now. Well, they can, they can if they live in Jersey because uh, we haven't stopped the payments um, everywhere. Um, we're still doing that and hopefully at some point in time in the future when the regulatory environment improves, we'll be able to reestablish that service. But I suppose that's part of the beauty of Bitcoin and more generally competitive currencies that um, you know here is a currency that uh, has developed a successful following, um, apparently is growing based on the numbers I see, and it's managed to do that without any government regulation. In spite of it, I would say. But let, let me give you an example. Yeah, Argentina, I agree with you on that. Argentina just uh, blocked PayPal payments. Um, Argentine citizens can no longer make a pay, uh, PayPal transaction from one account to another account in Argentina. Uh, well, Bitcoin bypasses all that. Who cares what they say? Who cares what the regulation says? It has no country, it has no central place that can be regulated. It's just a network. And just the same as BitTorrent hasn't been shut down despite a massive onslaught from, um, from the record industry, Bitcoin can't be shut down. Yeah, uh, there was just recently a, a failure of one of the big exchanges between Bitcoin and National.